Paul Hemikitis here with the uh, Weekly Yellow Jacket Baseball blog. We're trying this video thing here for the second time, so I'll try not to be too bashful. Uh, I have a lot to cover with you guys uh, this week. Uh, we have an uh, exciting week coming up, obviously, with the end of our season uh, approaching, and also have a lot to cover from um, the previous week, which was a successful and exciting one for us. Last Tuesday, we went down to Wilmington, a Division Three rival of ours, and won 19-9. to It was the most runs we scored all season long, and uh, which was a nice win for us, obviously, but uh, the most uh, entertaining aspect of that game is actually a funny story I have to share from you, uh, with you. Excuse me. Uh, freshman catcher Parker Brown uh, had a chance to to get in late in the game, and he got hit by a pitch and ended up making it to second eventually. So there's a uh, situation we have runners on first and second. He's he's on second with two outs, and uh, Ryan Ledbetter comes up. It's a double. Uh, to center field, and obviously Parker should be off uh, with, this, uh, with the crack of the bat with being two outs, but he chose not to for whatever reason, and uh, once he got going, he rounded third, found a way to trip over the bag, so <laughs> he's, he's laying there on the ground in front of our dugout, so we obviously start laughing, and, and Chris Fox, who's on first, kind of comes up behind him. He has to stop. Parker ends up scoring uh, on the play. Chris ends up getting thrown out of the plate. He's obviously not too happy about not getting the run because of Parker's base running gaffe. Um, but we were, we were sure to give him a hard time uh, back in the dugout for that, and we'll be sure to do so uh, the rest of the season. There's also a rumor from Parker that he had a, an encounter with a bird in the, in, uh, in the bullpen, but that'll just be between the team and, and, uh, and him. So um, moving on a little bit. Uh, this past uh, f uh, Friday, we uh, hosted Urbana here and split with them. Definitely one of the better hitting teams uh, we played this season. Uh, split with them, like I said, got a good pitching performance from Micro in the second game to bounce back from a, from a game one loss. Our game against Urbana on Saturday was rained out, and uh, so we all had the chance to go to a leave, which was exciting for us. Um, this past Tuesday, yesterday, um, we hosted Malone here. and. Uh, Won the first game despite some uh, like a 45-minute weather delay in the fourth inning. We won uh, four to two behind a really good pitching performance from freshman Jordan Amon. He actually earned his eighth victory of the season, which uh, leads the team, which is obviously uh, a really impressive feat for for anybody, let alone a freshman. And before the second game was able to be official, uh, the inclement weather took over, so it didn't even count at all. But we were happy to always happy to beat Malone, so that was exciting for us. Uh, this upcoming weekend is going to be. Uh, a really good uh, experience for us. We get a chance to host Urbana here at 1.30 on graduation day, Saturday, and we actually travel to their place uh, for their senior day kind of thing um, later in the afternoon. But it'll be, it'll be cool for us to get a chance to play here in front of our home fans, um, one last time at least, and uh, for the parents of all the seniors to be here. Dads will throw out the first pitch and we'll, uh, we'll make it a cool event, and I'm sure that everyone's looking forward to that. Um, our postseason schedule is still far from, from concrete, but we do have uh, some things we know for sure. A coach let us know that we'll be uh, traveling up to Spring Arbor next Tuesday night, and we'll be playing our NCCAA Regional there Wednesday and Thursday. So that'll be important for us to get that automatic bid so that we can play uh, in the national tournament uh, at Prasco Park in Cincinnati as we have uh, two of the past three seasons. So that's something we're obviously uh, really looking forward to because that's always one of the biggest uh, things for us of the season. Uh, at this point, through 42 games in our year, we're 32 and 10. Um, one win away from uh, tying the all-time school wins record, which we set last year, uh, when we went 33 and 18. So we're doing so at, at a better pace, you could say, than we did last year. So it would be really nice if we could break that record here, um, or at least tie it here on uh, graduation Saturday, and then maybe break it up at Urbana. That would be a, a really good accomplishment uh, for us. Uh, just a side note. Um, Junior outfielder Jordan Chapman underwent uh, lay, uh, surgery to repair a torn labrum in his shoulder, so I'm sure he would appreciate um, all of your thoughts and prayers as he's undergoing that recovery process. It's obviously a, a major procedure, so I'm sure um, your thoughts and prayers would be appreciated on his end. Um, as always, uh, thanks for tuning in, and we, all, we appreciate all the support from fans and from family and parents. Uh, this year has been exceptional with the amount of turnout that we've had, better than uh, any year that I can remember, and it's always uh, nice when you have a chance to, to play in front of a, a nice crowd here, especially when the weather is this nice. So, uh, as always, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be looking forward to filling you in on uh, this, pa this, past, this next weekend, as well as, you know, kind of preview our postseason for you next week in my blog, and maybe we'll get a chance to even get me on video again before the end of the season. So, thanks again.